surprise, surprise, I'm on a plane heading somewhere else while also editing a video that needs to go live tomorrow. But this time we are headed to Munich, Germany for something that BMW, the car company, yeah, wants to show. What? Well, that was a surprise. Uh, didn't know I was getting a BMW to drive, apparently. Um, from here at the airport to uh, where we're staying. Uh, yeah. So I was gonna use the nav, but um, the buttons are in English, but it's in German. Go figure. Hmm. I'm exhausted. Maybe three hours of sleep in total um, on the two different flights combined. That car ride, that, I mean, woke me up for a little bit. It's a nice car. But right now, I feel disgusting. So I need to take a shower before uh, the event. There's like a party tonight to kind of like welcome everybody. And then tomorrow is the actual event where we're actually gonna see some new cars, some autonomous driving stuff. Don't really know. They haven't told us, just that it's new things that we're gonna see. Before the party, uh, we actually got to see a panel with Hans Zimmer, who, if you don't know, is like the, one of the most famous like music composers or sound composers for movies ever, like the Pirates of the Caribbean, The Dark Knight, Inception, I think the original Lion King, like just the list goes on and on and on. But BMW brought him here because they've partnered together for him to help them design the sounds for their new concept vehicle that was also just launched today. And hopefully at the actual event tomorrow, we get a little more time with the car and some other cars apparently that they're showing us. So that's kind of cool. But it's just, this panel is kind of interesting just because it's fascinating to me to think about how sound has to be designed for this car, right? Because it is an electric vehicle, you know, the sounds are customizable. You can make them whatever you want. And so they spent a lot of time thinking about like, well, what should it sound like and the different notes that are in there. And it's so crazy how as humans, we still crave that sound from an otherwise could totally be silent device, basically. Good evening, everybody. Welcome here. Very special warm welcome Oh yeah, that was cool. We got to see some bands play. It was a lot of fun. Met some interesting people, which was actually quite lovely. But I'm exhausted. Like two hours of sleep on that plane. Time for bed. And tomorrow is the actual day. And let's see what BMW has to show. Good morning. It's super early. Um, the event today starts at 8.45 or nine o'clock. So I figured since I'm a little jet lagged and I'm up way earlier than I should be, I'm gonna go try to find some coffee and get one last ride in that M6. <sighs> I'm gonna miss you. We know that sustainability is key and that the car industry is changing, but BMW has always been at the forefront of that transformation, and we are not afraid of change. We create it. And by the time my daughter gets her driver's license, everyone deserves to be in an electric car. Oh, well, good morning, everyone. Hope you enjoyed a beautiful uh, next-gen party yesterday. Thank you so much for joining us here at the uh, BMW event, right here at the heart of the BMW group. Okay, well, that was a fun way to start this. We got to watch a play. 
different. I like it. Good job, BMW. Now we're going to head upstairs for the actual announcements of their six new cars. <laughs> BMW, killing it with the presentations. I mean, there was a marching band in that. There was cars just zooming by and then they would get on these little things and they would spin. It was just crazy. Seriously, like killing it, guys. Only downside wasn't any information. So now at least though, we have a chance to see the five of the six cars. The sixth car was that Vision car that uh, we kind of saw a little bit earlier. Um, but now we have, these are the actual production models. First up, we have a basic update to the BMW X1 crossover. It's just a bit of a facelift really with a slightly tweaked front end and upgraded infotainment center. And the last part is pretty important considering everybody cares a lot about connectivity nowadays. And this is one of BMW's best-selling cars. Then we have the new third gen one series in a bunch of varieties, but the one that we saw was the top of the line M135i xDrive a four-wheel drive hatchback with 306 horsepower and 332 foot-pounds of torque. It'll do zero to 60 in 4.7 seconds with the M performance package added, and I'm sort of obsessed with the baby blue color. Moving up in model numbers, there is the new 3 Series in a touring model with 369 horsepower and an 8-speed Steptronic transmission that I'm sure will just automatically sell well for them. Then we have the 8 Series Grand Coupe, which is a four-door version of the 8 Series lineup. And even sitting next to some of the clearly impressive looking cars, it stands out and it, it just looks really cool. Some of those other super impressive looking cars I'm talking about are two of the new M8s, a stunning coupe and a convertible. The V8 model of the coupe has 600 horsepower and the convertible model has an insane 625 horsepower. This is paired with an MX drive all-wheel drive system and an eight-speed Steptronic transmission. And after driving the M6 earlier for just a brief period of time, I can't even imagine how cool these are to drive. And finally, the Vision M Next we saw debut last night. It's a 600 horsepower plug-in hybrid with a zero to 60 time of three seconds flat and a 62 mile all electric range, gull wing doors that can apparently open based on facial recognition, I think I heard somebody say, etc. Unfortunately, we didn't get much more info about it at the event. And of course, it's a concept. So who knows what parts of it will actually make it to the real world eventually, but damn, it's cool. Okay, now heading to do uh, an autonomous drive. One of two that we're doing today. Today I'm uh, able to give you a little sneak preview of our development. It's the world premiere of our new Next Level Cruise Control, which I activated just now, and we are braking on the red traffic light. So. And you are not doing anything. No. And yeah, I just uh, switched to green. We got that as well, and I'm able to go off again. Okay, now rushing to the other autonomous drive on the other side of the campus. So that's our location, which is of course the starting point of our journey, and then we just choose the destination. And let's say we go home, and of course you can see that there is BMW 7 Series just one minute away. Oh, okay. Boop. So it's right there, and start driving without a driver. It's really cool. Okay. Ta-da! then parking the car can be very, very convenient. So I just clicked on park and I will park the vehicle. And there we go, guys. Whirlwind of a day and a trip. Hope you guys enjoyed that different type of video kind of. Let me know in the comments below what you guys liked, didn't like about the video. What you guys think of all the stuff that BMW just announced. Uh, the autonomous stuff was kind of neat to me. Um, and obviously like all the really pretty cars. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also, check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. Ding the bell next to subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.